obviously I do not know how to use my camera. So I was about ready to show you and I'm going to try to not make you dizzy because I don't know what I'm doing with my phone. But um, my mom's an art quilt um, artist and I frame, she sent me all these quilts, you can do what you want with them. And I made, um, I, you know, you don't see a lot of quilts framed with glass and shadow boxes and that type of thing. And I did that. This one's beautiful. This hyacinth. It's beautiful stitching and, and she paints the stitches and it's a shadow box. <clears throat> the glare of glass is terrible. This is Water Lily, Delphiniums, which is one of my favorite. And we have a hit, my mom and I have a history with Delphiniums. And <clears throat> just some other ones. Plus, I have a whole nother drawer, drawer full that I haven't framed yet. So, um, here's over here's my fitting area. And that's how... Um, in, fr in the framing world, you got fitters, and that's where you put everything together and put the back on and the paper and wire and um, all that business. So this is my fitting and mat cutting table, and I have all the tools of the trade. I'll, I'm trying to keep this straight here. Here's framing tools, all the tools, and these are my current projects that I'm working on. I'm doing my great Aunt Olive. I love her. She passed away many years ago, but I found this. So um, this is this mat cutter, a good C&H mat cutter I got from an old time framer. Over here, I have a dinosaur dry mount press. Um, <laughs> shipping it here was interesting. I got it used on eBay, I think. But it's a workhorse. It'll work. Down here, I have... Well, since I'm doing an inventory, um, I'm pulling everything out of its nooks and crannies and realizing how much I have. And because I'm closing my Etsy shop, I'm going to be um, selling a different way. And I'm not sure wholesale maybe or someone might want them in a gift shop or maybe they have a store they'd like to hang some in on commission. I don't know. Um, if someone's interested, they can contact me. But most of them are coastal scenes. They all have some kind of a saying, like this one's happy and free. There's a lot of camp ones. This is the lake is calling. This is my happy place. I have a lot that are maybe um, would go get good together. You know, they're a pair, uh, coastal and sea. Anyway, I'm not going to pull them all out because they're heavy with glass. And that's my problem is shipping with glass. I do have boxes down in the cellar. Down in the basement is where I do all the dirty work. I cut glass. I have a nice glass cutter. I uh, cut my frames down there and, and build the frames and some other things. But, um, yeah, the boxes are down there, and they're heavy to ship. And I'd rather get them in a local place that might need some, you know, something on the walls. So if anyone knows that, let me know. Um, and here's a, just a couple more of those. The other thing I'm in, uh, I'm inventorying today, so I know exactly what I have on hand. Probably others understand that process. These are my earring holders that I make. I probably won't be making any more. They're very time consuming. Um, I might, I might if I get a request. But um, I had them. I sold quite a few. Nine different colors. This is a hundred percent hemp fabric. And it, it holds up really well. And um, the back has a stand. And I stretched the hemp fabric canvas with little brads. And I had sewed the edges to make them, um, you know, more rigid to, to attach to the frame. Plus, I hand painted the back. So, I mean, the back looks just as nice as the front. Um, but when I sold them, I shrink-wrapped a lot of them. And people could hand-attach the stand themselves. 
because it's hard to ship. It would be easy to just put an envelope with that. So as any artist who's trying to do a business, you know, the shipping is consideration. And <clears throat> I'm, I'm fortunate that I can just, you know, do what I want and not have to like sell, sell, sell. But um, I, I probably I'm this is I'll turn 60 this year and I'm um, hoping to just do more of my own work. And I have an idea for um, I like calligraphy. I like sayings, and I, I used to be a member of a calligraphy guild in Eugene, Oregon, the Valley Calligraphy Guild, and um, I took a lot of classes, went to a lot of workshops. We had a lot of fun. So that's why I was so excited. I recently joined a Rosemont Artist Guild, and I just get so excited when I talk to other artists and, and makers and people that are into the like, creative, creative process. But um, my art went to um, hand painting, raw molding it's beautiful smooth um fairly reasonable to get just raw molding like this and it's got the rabbit on it and um i i just made a whole bunch of those in fact i have a lot that are not painted a lot of trial and error but um so i started painting on canvas acrylics and I think this is really pretty. It's an old design I had um, that I just did that way. And just painting the frames to kind of go with the art. That was kind of fun, you know, how am I gonna do that? And then this one, I just had fun with the colors, bright colors. And then this one was one of my um, calendar pages I redid. Um, and I like that one the design on that one that was fun and this one this one am I right side up <laughs> and I should show you I use this is a framers trick and it's a mirror and a design table and right now you can't but if you had artwork you can see and pick colors better this is um, one of my favorites, one of my last ones. In the rhythm of the needles, there's music for the soul. And I did it watercolor on paper and acrylic, and then I tied in the frame. So um, I know this is getting long, but I just wanted to introduce myself and share my work. Um, over here is just stuff that I'm randomly working on. My grandson's. I didn't get it done by Christmas, but I'm going to somehow, um, that's my son-in-law, my, my grandson Tavish, and my other grandson Max, and just random things that I'll get to someday, but um, I'm doing right now my own artwork. I'm working on squares, eight-inch squares, and um, that's the goal, and I want to be able to frame them and the prints with little stands like my earring holders but to frame them with a nice stand and a matching back and they're small so people can just put a nice saying on their counter um, things like that so I've come up with a few designs that I really like um, but I'm just having fun right now I'm just experimenting so this is kind of just some ideas Carl Sagan go Carl science is a way of thinking much more than it is a body of knowledge and our species needs and deserves a citizenry with minds wide awake and a basic understanding of how, how the world works. Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan. I, yeah. Yeah. My, um, because I was just astronomy. Okay, moving on. Um, the next thing I've inventoried today is um, I make uh, a canvas color uh, covered cork board bulletin boards. Um, I made quite a few with, with pockets, both horizontally and vertically. Here's just one that is mine that I, I'm using um, right over here. Um, my two kids, Sam and Becca, who are uh, in their late 30s right now. Um, I'm going to walk over to our guest room um, where I, trust me, I, I've hauled all this out today. So um, over here. 
are um, my cork covered, oh no, bulletin boards. Um, they're uh, shrink, a lot of them are shrink wrapped with pockets. This is a vertical one. And I use that decorative uh, fabric. I like this one. I like that floral design. This is also shrink wrapped. I can't pull them all out. Beautiful wood though. This is a horizontal. And just some more down there. This is a square. Plain, no pockets. I sell those for cheaper. Over here are the same prints that I framed in molding with glass. I got 25 of each. Um, I got three each of 25 images. So this is mount, dry mounted and matted and shrink wrapped with nice foam core backing. Already priced. This one was $20, um, but that's why I'm taking an inventory to, to see what, you know, what, but there's, they're all there. These have no, these were not mounted or matted. These are wild, all of these are wild apple graphics prints that I was able to get as a reseller. Um, it's a favorite company of mine. I love and they were from Vermont, and I lived in Vermont for a long time. So um, these are all Wild Apple Graphics art prints that I have the rights to sell, just to let you know that. <laughs> um, and I even got the letter from the owner who said that was fine. So um, they're an art printing company. So these just have foam core, not mounted. And then I have all 25 with just cardboard. That's the most inexpensive way. So the last thing that I'm trying to sell, you know, when I close my Etsy shop, um, I'm very fond of an artist. Her name is Alita Akers. She does the Storybook Cottage series. And um, she lives in Kansas, I believe. But I was on Pinterest, and I personally, I love anything cottagey. That's why my business is called Cottage Walls. So um, it was Red Cottage Artworks. Then I got breast cancer and... So these past four years have not been fun. So I had to close my the business plan that I had, deal with my breast cancer, and I'm doing fine, by the way. <laughs> Year and a half ago, I had very short hair. But um, so now I'm just reconsidering what I want to do. And I'm feeling great. Just, you know, I, I can't believe I brought up the cancer thing. But anyhow, so um, Pinterest is, she's very popular on Pinterest. She can look her up, Alita Akers. Um, when I fell in love with her work and was really producing a lot of work, um, she sold me um, three images of 15 different images, and I bought three of each. And I framed a set, more than more than a set. Here's, here, I dug all these out, here on the bed. These are Alita Acres. She does uh, sea, sea cottages, sea scenes gardening scenes. Um, I love her work. These are small. Um, and um, it's just so hard to show everything, but um, they're all on my Etsy shop right now. I'll just show a couple more that I like. This one is a garden. I like that one. And this is Mayday basket. I don't know if you can see the Mayday basket on there. And then some country scenes. Anyway, that's Alita Acres. So I'm going to finish up now. That's all I have. And I didn't even mention that my husband's an artist. And our cupboards are full of his photographic art prints that I might talk about at some other point. But thanks for getting to know me and my art a little bit. And and if you have any questions, let me know. And, and um, um, that's all for today. Enjoy whatever you're doing. Bye-bye.